academic counseling for open and distance learning ODI learners. In the previous video, we discussed about prerequisites and preparations needed for academic counseling session. And in this video, we shall be discussing about organizing counseling session. Learners, after joining the course, are willing to know about the support services available during the course of the study for their progress, along with their peers, counselors, and other supporting study center members. Induction meeting at the commencement of the session helps the learner to familiarize themselves with the instructional methodology and other relevant information. Once the induction session is over, theory and practical sessions are organized and the schedule for the same is shared with the learners. First of all, we shall discuss about theory counseling sessions. Theory counseling sessions are important aspect of any course in ODN system. But these sessions are not mandatory for successful completion of the course. The learners shall be made aware about the rules regarding their respective course during the induction program itself. However, the counselor shall conduct the course in such a way that the learners are motivated to attend these sessions. Counselors need to plan the activities of first session well to encourage the learners to be regular in the upcoming session. Now we will see how first session can be planned. The first session can start as an introductory session, wherein the learners and academic counselors get to know each other. Academic counselors can pose questions to make the session interactive and know more about the learners, their background, their learning, and other people. This, uh, this interaction with the group will enable the learners to overcome their hesitation and boost their confidence to discuss their queries with the academic counselor. This will provide counselor an opportunity to know about the learner's perspective or purpose of joining the particular institution or program or course. After the introductory interaction or familiarization, the counselor can give an overview of the course, self-learning material, self-help questions, and importance of counseling session itself. The interaction and activities during the introductory session can motivate the students to be regular to these sessions. The remaining sessions can start, or the next session can start with a recap of previous sessions by initiating discussion on the course, its concepts or any difficulties pertaining to the course. An academic counselor can guide the learner about the conduct of these sessions and how they can come up with their discussion points or difficulties to clarify during the session. Through this, learner will get to know the nature of academic counseling and how it is different from a lecture. In this session, they can be allotted units or topics for reading and discussing it in the next session. In later sessions, learners can come prepared with the units or topics allotted for discussion. The queries and difficulties related to units can be clarified by the counselor during the session. Different group learning activities, techniques can be used by the academic counselor for facilitating the discussion and the learning during these sessions. Now, after understanding the theoretical counseling session, we shall discuss about how practical sessions are conducted and whether they are part of the course or not. Apart from theory-based courses, many skill-oriented courses or programs are also being offered by some audio institutions. Courses having component of skill or practice have practical sessions or field work. For example, 
courses in science education, computers, engineering, and other such disciplines. These courses are practical intensive and require laboratories and specialized equipment depending on the need of the subject, like science labs, computer labs, etc. Apart from these courses, some field based courses where learners have to go in the field work and submit the report as per the guidelines of the university. Advancement in the skill set is important for the completion of these courses. Contrary to theory counseling sessions, it is mandatory to attend these practical sessions to upgrade skill sets required for completion of a particular course. Theory counseling sessions play a vital role in course having component of practice. It is advised to learners to attend the theory counseling session of such courses for better understanding and acquiring better practical knowledge for conducting the practice work. The only universities provide the academic counselors with all the resource books or lab manuals to support the counselor by conducting the practical sessions. Academic counselors need to have all the information related to the practical and practical files to be maintained by learners to guide them properly. The academic counselors must be present while the practical session is going on to facilitate the learning as per the objectives. The learners shall maintain the practical files and other documents as prescribed by the institution and these shall be submitted for evaluation purposes as per the rules and guidelines of the institution. Also, the record of practical work shall be properly maintained by the counselor and the coordinator of the study center. That is it for this video. In the next video, we shall be further discussing about organizing counseling session part 2. Till then, thank you.